Well, yeah. I was going to ask how the whole BTS experience is, is going. Oh, gosh. Their fans, so yeah, how are they fun. treating you? The fans are awesome. Our, the army are great. They're the most beautiful human being. They're so awesome. Also, they're so poorly poorly represented in culture as these, like, fangirl, crazy, like, mindless. And they're the opposite. Yeah. They're, like, intelligent. They're funny. They're tasteful. They're charitable. Like, yeah. it's so crazy. It, they are really kind, strategic, intelligent individuals. Yeah. Who really, they're like the main promotional vehicle of BTS to the point where they were buying billboards for them in major cities. I know. Like they, uh, I know. I've never seen anything like it. It's really remarkable. It's, crazy. it's really remarkable. They wanted to say thank you to me for something and they organized something like charitable in my name. That's awesome. And they were like, they were like, what should we do for Halsey to say thank you? Like, should we stream her song? Should we this? And they're like, nah, she doesn't care about that stuff. Let's donate to a charity in her name and like organize this whole thing and then like did this like charitable thing. For me, and they were like, "This is our way of saying thanks, Halsey." Like, thanks, and I was like, "That's spectacular." And part of me was like, "Why isn't everyone's fans doing this?" Imagine if everyone's fans thanked them by doing, by organizing charity in their name, by helping others. What a better place this world would be! <laughs> and it's just like, I don't know. They like, they just get it, man. They're they're just they just get it. Like, they're funny. Their memes are like timely and like current and creative and like. The, the fandom is full of like incredible graphic designers and incredible artists and there's just like constantly this fan generated content that's like keeping this whole subculture alive daily yeah. daily and it's like a whole it's like a whole universe where like if you miss a couple of days and then you come back like I literally will like not be on Twitter for like two days and I'll see like a meme about someone and I'll be like what did I miss and then all of a sudden <laughs> I'm army and I'm like trying to figure out what I missed so I get the joke like it's ridiculous <laughs> It's ridiculous. Yo, I got goosebumps because they are, they're just, there's such a variety of people. They were super nice to me too. Super welcoming, super, super nice. It was obviously a very intimidating thing getting involved with BTS because you know the power of mm -hmm. ARMY and like, you know how protective they are. And rightfully so, because this is a band that has been like taken advantage of in many ways. You know what I mean? By people promising them spins and radio play in exchange for, you know, social media power because the fan base feels like they know what they can accomplish. They're amazing. And so they're protective as they should be. And, um, I, you know, come along and I'm like, hi, like, we're doing a collaboration. Please don't <laughs> kill me. <laughs> um, and they were so awesome. They're so nice. It was, it was amazing. They were super supportive. Like, I think they can tell it's really genuine. 